Hello, this is Russ Walden with Father's Heart Ministry, and welcome to the September War Room Prayer Event. Prayer is not begging and pleading. Prayer is ruling and reigning. Now, we did something, we stumbled over something last month that uh, truly added a dynamic element to these to our prayer time. I hadn't premeditated suggesting this last month, but I gave my cell phone number so that those of you attending could text in your prayer requests. And you may be listening on a cell phone, but perhaps you could borrow somebody else's, or if you're one of the younger generation that knows how to do it, you can actually send a text while you're on the phone. But I want you to get a pen and write down this number. And I have my text configured to come up here on my iPad so that we can get your request in real time. Now bear in mind that we're gathering together, we've had as many as three to four hundred people in these uh, prayer times. We're coming to you streaming over Spreaker, which is audio based. We're streaming our video. If you have trouble with the video, I recommend you go back to your instructions. You can find them in eChurch as well. Perhaps log in through the, uh, uh, the conference call, which doesn't even require a, uh, a computer. But here's the number that you can text your prayer request. We have many, many requests that we'll be praying uh, over uh, that we've received since last month. We've had we've had 164 specific requests that have come in and obviously we're not going to get to all of those uh, but we're going to address them and with the the number is 417-332-7749 417-332-7749 and you're welcome don't try to call that number because it's not going to go through I'm on a conference call on that line right now. But you can text and I will get it here on my iPad and we'll read your request and pray over it uh, in this meeting. There is something that takes place when you have people gathering together from around the world. We have people calling from the UK, we have people from Kuwait, uh, there are connections around the world across the United States and Canada that are gathering together and do you remember the story of Jesus when he prayed for the blind man and he couldn't get him healed so he took him out of the city limits and prayed for him again and even at that point it took three times he saw men as trees walking and then finally he saw clearly and Jesus actually warned him don't go back into that town don't go back into the city limits there is something about spiritual warfare that is effective when we cross boundaries, uh, international boundaries, city boundaries, and we create an ascension network in prayer. I personally, I value uh, being prayed for by people in, in outside the country. There are those that uh, are connected with uh, our life that I communicate with regularly for their prayers and their intercession and also here in the States as well, of course. But there is something particularly efficacious about coming together in a Matthew 18 agreement in a live prayer time. In our prayer time, one of the reasons we established this years ago as a pastor, the Lord told me, he said, if you want people to pray, it's not enough to preach a sermon on prayer, on the different kinds of prayer, or perhaps guilting people into prayer. No, you have to pray with them. And for in the religious traditions that I've grown up in, we've always had the midweek prayer service in thousands of churches. Uh, in the Assemblies of God denomination that I was a part of and other groups as well, they would come together for a midweek prayer service, but it always puzzled me as a little boy that they never prayed. And so this is a prayer time where we actually pray. This is one of two live events that we 
uh, do, sponsored by the Media Church, part of our ministry. MediaChurch.net is our online church. It's Church 2.0, uh, reconfigured for your life. We determined to make a community of leaders and uh, members that are accessible one to another 24-7. And so we encourage you to visit MediaChurch.net. Those of you that are coming either as guests or members to MediaChurch.net, we welcome you. Uh, again, this is about praying. We're here to pray, not just here to teach on prayer, not just here to uh, have that time with one another, but to come together in a prayer of agreement, to come together connecting with one another, to come to that place where we're seated in heavenly places in Christ, and we're going to petition the Father, and we know the hand of God will move. We get prayer, we get responses all the time of answers that have come into the lives of people that have cried out to God, we've joined together, and through the power of agreement, Matthew 18 says, nothing shall be restrained to you. One of the things we lay heavy emphasis on in these war room prayer events is praying in tongues. When you pray in tongues, you pray with the tongue of angels. When you pray in tongues, you're praying according to the perfect will of God. When you pray in tongues, you're bringing forth a verbal travail of the creative modality of God. God, when he uh, looked into the unformed substance of the earth in Genesis 1, he could have created by a stroke of his hand. He could have created by the mere release of his thoughts. But he didn't just do that. He spoke. There was a verbal travail that brought forth. There is a coming forth that the Father's bringing. And I want you to begin to pray with me. Now, if you don't pray in tongues, let me encourage you. Um, just as a baby, Jesus talked about to Nicodemus, he talked about, being born again, well just like being born the first time, a little baby that can't form articulate words has the capacity of speech. Well when you got born again, you were inherently coded in your spiritual DNA with the capacity for speech that proceeds not from your mind, but from your spirit. The mind rejects it, the mind rebels, the Bible says that the mind is unfruitful when you pray in tongues. However, you pray out mysteries, you build up yourself in your most holy faith, Jude said. And so you have the capacity of speech. And we have a lot of superstitious ideas about how that gift uh, comes to a place of inception in our life. But understand this, in the natural, when a baby begins to repeat the words of those around him who can speak, we delight in that. We actually compete and we taunt one another in a good-natured way if the baby says daddy before the baby says mama. We delight in that. It, it's not illegitimate just because it's repeating something that someone who can speak says. And so as we begin to pray in the Spirit, if you are not one who, can, uh, who has found the faculty of speech in speaking in tongues, allowing your spirit access to the speech center of your brain, then begin to come alongside of me as I pray and repeat what I pray and God will come alongside of you and he will make the connection of your spirit to the speech center of your brain and it will become the language of your spirit infused with the Holy Spirit and produce that dynamic energy of God on the inside of you. So let's begin to pray and I urge you, do not just participate in this uh, as a spectator. You need to actively open your mouth and verbalize. God spoke. He didn't just think. He didn't just look upon the unformed substance of the earth and assent to the fact he wanted to do something. He didn't just nod in silent agreement. No, he spoke. I, I want you to speak with me. And so let's begin to pray together. In April, there was an Italian believer who was watching the war room uh, in April and wrote in and said, you were praying in perfect Italian and you said, that will be enough of that. <laughs> because we're seated with Christ in heavenly places and we're ruling and reigning, we're exercising our jurisdiction. Lord, we worship you. 
We rebende be sapakanda stabarobose. Bede gidim rebende de basata de besete de biadabaka. It's you that we hunger for. It's you that we cry out for, O oh God. We join with Rajesh in Kuwait. We join with Tim in Reading and Rhonda in Portland. With Nancy in Atlanta. With Eunice in Barnard Castle and Freddie. With our, with our brothers and sisters in England, we join with them. With those in Ireland, with those in Australia, New Zealand, we join with our brothers and sisters. We, we initialize, we activate the packets of God's energy and the information that is in His Spirit, and we send forth the quanta of the Spirit of God to release a reciprocal uh, exchange of power and energy and information around the world. We create that global ascension network. We activate the prophetic action committee tonight. We're not looking for a political action committee. It's the prophetic action committee that says, not by might, not by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. And we bring forth the capstone. You said you inhabit the praises of your people, Father. We praise you. But chamber yourself in our, in our prayers. That you might come and chamber yourself, O Spirit of God. We open up ourselves as the everlasting gates that the King of Glory might come in through. That he might come in through into the earth into the need through you said we are the gates we are the apertures through which you would download your power download your energy download the information the truth that you said would set men free we open ourselves up we set our mind in abeyance and we open our spirits we pray particularly for Rhonda in Portland, Maine. So I want you to release your prayers. Release the energy, the dunamis of God toward Rhonda in Portland, Maine. We lift her up, Father God. We pray for the empowerment of that mantle that lays upon her shoulders. For Joe and Angela in Queenstown. That we bring the performance of the work of God into their life in Jesus' name. The canopy of, uh, of your favor over their home. We pray for Madeline and Sergio. That just got married. For this couple, Lord God, we say, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. We're here to do business for God. We're here to be as instrumentalities in the earth. Yes, the mind is unfruitful. The mind wanders. The mind is like a child in church. That we have to make the mind sit down and behave as your spirit begins to commiserate with other believers in their jurisdiction. And we become a global jurisdictional authority in the earth releasing breakthrough
the verse of scripture comes to mind that says, Why seek the honor that comes from man rather than the honor that comes from God only? You are not here to impress anyone. You are here to rule and reign. There's someone, you've been bound by the fear of man. You've been bound by what people think. You've been told if you don't have the approval of others, if you're not in alignment with what they say and what they think, that you will not fulfill God's purpose. We break that contaminated thinking off of you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for deliverance, Father God, from depression. Deliverance, Father. We pray for Valinda. We pray for Valinda and we speak the performance of the work of God into Valinda's life right now in the name of Jesus. She is a fruitful bough. She is a fruitful tree at the table of the Lord and she will not cast her fruit. She will be a wholesome tree that puts roots down into the deep aquifers of the Spirit to draw forth the healing that is accorded to the nations from that flow that comes out of the, from under the door of the temple. Take her out where there's waters to swim in, Father God. Take her out where her toes cannot touch bottom. Uh, the, the, the pragmatism of, of the, the earth. And bring her out into a supernatural experience in you that causes the sacrament, even of physical healing, to be her portion. We pray for Valinda. Now I ask you to call Valinda's name out, to open your mouth verbally and say, Valinda, we speak healing to you, we release healing to you, even as Jesus was told by the centurion, speak the word only, and my, my servant shall be healed. We speak the word over Valinda. Saparabadibishi, be healed in the name of Jesus. Healing is your portion. We release Exodus 15, 26 to you today. Jehovah Rapha. Badabaki Now reach out right now and get to the sacrament of your healing. You need a healing touch in your body? As you pray for Valinda, as Job prayed for his friends, his own captivity was turned. And so we reach out right now to receive the sacrament of healing for your pancreas, for your liver, for your heart hypertension, blood pressure. Reach out right now and receive the sacramental bread. The children's bread will not be denied you this night. For the husbandman must be first partaker of the fruit. Shall you pray for others and your own needs go unmet? That which you accord others in the jurisdictional authority of ruling and reigning and not begging or pleading, even that as you open your mouth to release uh, the quanta of God, the packets of God's energy and information to bring deliverance to others, uh, he will make bear his arm in your behalf. Sumpak, I will bear my arm in your behalf, says the Father, and I will break off of you the fracture, the depredation of the enemy. This is your hour. This is your day. The Father says, uh, your blessing time has come. The day of hoping and wondering is over. The day of manifestation is at hand. I am manifesting the substance in your life. I am manifesting the substance in your relationships and in your marriage. I am manifesting the substance in the salvation of your loved ones. I am manifesting the substance in your bank account, says the Father. I am releasing you to be a repository of blessings springing up unto life everlasting. I am establishing you, I am rooting you in the economy of the kingdom where no poverty can reach. I break off of you the, the curse of the vow of poverty, the spirit of poverty, the spirit of denial, and the, the imprecations of the enemy. This family that's moved to Dallas, Texas, and the husband had to go back to Vancouver to uh, sell the house. Uh, a family that's not able to be together. We need a quick sale of the house. 
Well, Father, we pray that this home would sell according to the market condition of the kingdom, not the market condition of Vancouver. In the name of Jesus, now say it with me, we command this house in Vancouver to be sold and to be sold on, on a, supernat at a supernatural pace. Bring the perfect buyer, we declare, now pray this with me, Father God, we declare a ready buyer, a ready uh, qualified, a pre-qualified buyer to come in the name of Jesus for a quick sale. The answer will come back this month. We're going to get the answer. They're going to come back and say the house sold in a supernatural uh, rate of speed. For Janice, Father God, we pray for direction, for deliverance and healing. God, we pray that the directive compass, we pray that there would be a compass, the GPS of God would be activated in Janice's life. That the angel of change, I feel the shaking uh, in, in me right now, Janice, the angel of change is visiting you even this day to bring change and your health shall spring forth speedily, says the Lord. So that was an honor and such a privilege to wash your feet in the prophetic in Washington, D.C. recently, Janice. We love you and we bless you. If you're having trouble with the conference call line, we understand that there's been some intermittency in that. You can go to the instructions that led you to the conference call and you can connect via Spreaker or you can go to our Ustream and connect there. Sometimes the technology fails us, uh, but that's why we use redundant means for you to connect. <laughs> We pray for Lorraine, Father, in the name of Jesus. God, that the enemy will back off. It's been pressing in on her. We declare over her that greater is the pressure on the inside, the pressure of the living water of God flowing out of her then the pressure of the enemy coming in. We break the power of depression over her life right now in the name of Jesus. Father, We worship you, Lord. We praise you. We honor you. We pray for Ray, Father God. God, we pray for Ray in the in the Birmingham area in the name of Jesus that the mantle that's on that man will that the giftedness will uh, ca cause the brooch of the gift that the gift that's on this man will begin to push back his boundaries that the gift that's on this man will push back his boundaries and establish him in his office in the name of Jesus. God, that you would take Rachel Price and you would cause her to have what the um, the, the young men, uh, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had. They were uh, had an excellent spirit. Even that Daniel had to pass her nursing exams, her nursing course, not just barely passing, not passing in the lower percentile, but passing in the top five percentile of her class, Father God. We bring that, we, we provoke that in Rachel right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for Kara. Father God, that this uh, legal situation and the adversarial uh, uh, con situation regarding the, the court, the time in court, that that other party that is seeking an unjust advantage and moving beyond that which you have um, uh, ordained, Lord, let there come correction there. That you would bring course correction to this circumstance and to this situation right now in the name of Jesus. So to Kara, we declare that the gavel comes down in your favor, that the angel of Savvy will be 
uh, at the bar, or at your attorney's elbow, whispering in your attorney's ear, making them of quick understanding to bring forth the positive results that are needed. We pray for Beverly that the burning in her, her feet, in her stomach, and the pain in her hips, in the name of Jesus, God, we break this curse of the enemy. You said you would put none of these diseases upon us that were put upon the Egyptians. We declare the sacrament of healing. Come to Beverly in Canada right now in the name of Jesus. For Lisa and her children in uh, New Jersey, in the name of Jesus, Father, we're believing you for not just a part-time job that's uh, a pathetic representation of supply, but a job where favor is Lisa's portion, and that she's appreciated and she's well paid, and she has a home where her children are safe and well provided for with good neighbors and a good neighborhood and a good environment. We declare that that's so, Father God, we declare that is her portion in the name of Jesus. For Dancy in Togo, Father God, believing for companionship, we declare companionship over this person right now in the name of Jesus, over this lady. She's not going to have to go looking for a husband as she seeks first the kingdom. You're going to provide the companionship that is not uh, the blessing of the Lord makes rich and adds no sorrow. So it will not be a companion that breaks her heart that she cannot trust in, uh, that she cannot safely commit her heart to. But we declare that the curse of sol of, of um, isolation, sequestration from companionship is broken over this life and if you are in need and crying out for companionship and the waiting has been long we break the curse of sequestration over you you will not be denied your companionship we declare that your companion is quickly on their way to you and that this companion will not be a heartbreak this companion will not be a disappointment but it'll be the more than you could ever ask or think companion and we agree together right now in the name of Jesus for supernatural Godspeed acceleration because even as the Father said it is not good to be alone we declare over you the call Rabbi all of you that are listening that you you have need of companionship we release that to you broken marriages that are on the verge of divorce we speak deliverance right now in the name of Jesus and an end to strife so we pray for Therese and Kristen, Nicholas and Michael. God, we pray for Therese's health. We declare, now pray this with me, around the world, this is a global ascension network for Therese Giapani, that her health is springing forth speedily, and that the uh, the ecosystem of God's favor that fell on Cornelius would fall upon this household. Household salvation. You will be saved and your household. Cody, you will not be denied. Healing from all cancers right now in the name of Jesus. Someone praying about cancer. Cancer is not a name that's higher than the name above all names. Cancer small cell lung cancer, pancreatic cancer. These things are melanomas. They are not higher than the name of Christ. They the stripes that were taken that provided for healing, included healing from cancer. So cancer, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We command you to be lifted and expunged and dispelled from this body. We declare that you will live and not die. So we declare that you will live and not die. We break the curse of death off of you. Rise up. Rise up. Do what you couldn't do before. Your healing is upon you. The promise of God is upon you. You will not be denied the children's bread. You will not be denied the children's bread, says the Father. Sete de 
Sete de de basapoko robon jishimisi pakasata. Tim, I know we're having technical difficulties with the conference call, but if you can come in, I want you to go ahead and make the attempt. Amen. I trust that those who are listening that's just picking up from the microphones and our other devices, Tim, but I know the people in the conference call can hear you. Those of you that are streaming in with us by audio or video, just be patient as we allow one of our board of directors and fellow prophets, Tim Fox, to come in and, and pray uh, with us. Go ahead, Tim. Let's praise him. Lord, we worship you. We praise you, O God. We honor you. We honor you, God, because we're seated with Christ in heavenly places. Kiss the Son, lest he grow weary with thee, and curse the work of thy hands. He that sitteth in the heavens shall laugh. Ha, 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 ha. The work of the enemy's hand is cursed. The work of the enemy's hand is defrayed. The work of the enemy's hand against these lives, the work of depredation, the work of contamination, the work of oppression is being broken off 
of you right now in the name of Jesus. We speak to those that are struggling with your mental health and you think that you, you need to be treated. You think you need to be uh, in, to a physician. And we speak the efficacy of prayer over you to put you in your right mind. We declare you are in your right mind and you are in emotional health. Your heart's broken. Your heart's fractured. And the Father says, I'm pouring in the oil and I'm pouring in the wine over you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for Drexel in Baltimore right now for this court case. The favor of God to dispose of this court case right now in Jesus' name. Korabe, agree. Do you agree with me? Yes, you'd give that to someone to have that. Uh, so in the name of Jesus, we extend our jurisdiction over... Do you realize that when you make these requests, you're placing yourself in the jurisdiction? We pray for Susan Klebu. Oh, God, that this lady, you would cause her to ascend into her measure, ascend into her new, fresh jurisdiction. I see an exponential increase of jurisdiction in business in your personal life, Susan. The Father says you will not be left out. That thing that you pray for, the enemy's tried to tell you it's a pipe dream. He's tried to tell you that what you're asking for and reaching for cannot be yours. But the Father says, I am the God who's the more that you could ever ask or think, and you will not be denied, for I will establish you when you sit down, and I will establish you when you rise up. I will sow Deuteronomy 28 into your life, and even into the lives of those in your household. The uncommon favor of God is upon you, says the Father. For Kim and Pelham, Lord, that we declare debt liquidation. Now, if you have needs debts, we speak to your debts. What are you saying to your mountain? We speak to the mountain of debt represented by every request and by every person who's joined us in this Ascension Network of Prayer and we command debt be gone in the name of Jesus. We declare you are debt free. Now, I hear the Father say, quit thinking like a debtor. Quit thinking like a debtor. Would I eliminate your debt and you go out and create new debt? The Father says you are not a debtor. You are one who is a provisioner. You are a provisioner, says the Father. Money moves by the Spirit, and I'm making you a distribution point of the transfer of the wealth and kingdom finances. I liberate you from debt mentality, says the Father. We declare mortgages are paid off. Vehicles are paid off. Credit cards are, are wiped out and cut up and cast away because they're not needed. Because you're operating according to the kingdom economics. For Patricia in Maryland, oh God, that a restoration would take place, that she would take the fragments of families that have struggled and had difficulties and they've reacted under pressure, Lord, and, and there needs to be a restoration. We command restoration. Let the peaceable fruit of the Spirit be poured out in a supernatural way in these lives to mend, to relinquish, to korabaseta, to restore right now. Let it begin now in a supernatural way, Lord Jesus. We declare by October 31st, you're going to have an affordable rent. You're going to have God's... When you walk into the place that God gives you, there's going to be a supernatural, exponential manifestation of God's presence. And I will supply the money, says the Father. I will provide. We declare provision for Beverly right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we worship you. We praise you, Father. We pray for Deborah in South Africa. Father, let that godly man that she's already met come to the surface and make his move because you've already spoken to him in her regard. And 
In the name of Jesus, we break the curse of homelessness, homelessness off of your life. And in Ireland, in Northern Ireland, we declare a home, not just a place to lay your head, but a home and an environment conducive for your ministry and your destiny. And you're a principality and a power in Northern Ireland. And we break the curse of the enemy. We command the enemy to back off right now in the name of Jesus off of Anne McCormick's life. We worship you, Lord God. We worship you. Now, just, just reach out by the Spirit. I know we're not in each other's physical presence, but I want you to reach out by the Spirit and take the hand of the person on your right and on your left. Put your hand on their shoulders. Put your arm around their shoulders, and I want you to begin to wash them in your worship. Wash them in the worship to the Father, and as you worship the Father, let them be washed by the Spirit of God that responds to that worship. That the toxic contamination of the enemy that's trying to rob their joy would be broken, and that joy, the wine, the vintage of the Spirit would be released. If you want what you've never had before, the Father says you've got to do what you've never done before. Even as Paul wrote to the Roman church, he says, Though I haven't been with you, in person, I have seen you in the Spirit. I want you to see the person right and left of you in the Spirit begin to wash them. We worship you, Lord God, and we wash our brothers and our sisters in your presence. We wash God to take us out beyond ourselves, beyond the limitations of time and technology. To make a real, substantive ecclesia of God Touched, moved, cleansed, brought to healing. Let it fall, Lord God. Let this be an electronic version of the upper room. Let the outpouring come. Let the baptism of fire come even now. Let the tabernacle's feast be celebrated in the spirit and fulfilled now, not in a shadow, but in substance. Let it pour out. Desta, 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 desta. Kororororobose. Bandemimichi pisi bakoso. Dobroba sata de beke mea boroba satama. Eta, we command all contaminate. We throw the meal of the truth of the rhema word of God into the pot the enemy has poisoned. Someone out there, you've been poisoned from the prophetic. You've had some bad experiences, and we put the meal of the wholesome rhema of God into that poison pot that's contaminated your simplicity. It's contaminated your belief, even in the prophetic. You've just come to a point you don't even want another prophecy. But the Father says, I'm casting uh, the meal of a wholesome validated, verified rhema word into your life, and I'm going to put you in a vehicle of righteousness. I'm going to transfer you from where you are into the place that I promised you. I told you I would do uh, some things, says the Father. It's going to come to pass. It will, it will not lie. My word will not lie. That which I've sown within you, rise up and war with it, for it is surely it is not an unreliable uh, bow. That would break when you try to draw it. It's going to be a reliable bow. Even uh, God says, I put prophecies in your life that are as potent as any prophecy I spoke uh, to Timothy through the Apostle Paul. You can trust. Lord, someone is just ready to, to jerry-can your, your prophecies. You're ready just to tear them up. The, the Father says that the prophetic words that I put on the inside of you are as trustworthy as the prophetic words that Paul spoke over Timothy. Uh, there is a destiny, a legacy, and a heritage that's been imparted to you, and the enemy's running a game on you. And the Father says, rise up in this thy might and lay hold of the promise and refuse to be denied. You will delay, is not denial, says the Father. Let's worship him. Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. God clans mockery from our midst. God, that there be no mockery. The enemy has tried to mock these believers. The enemy has tried to taunt these believers. God, that you would smite the, uh, uh, with the fist of your righteousness the spirit of the mocker. Let mockery not be named amongst the, the elect ones. 
Soto do borobo de bisiti di kisabara braba de chini de ka de sedeba de braba. Lord, we put our roots down into the deep aquifers of your spirit tonight. Sete de braba de chini kisi basa braba de baka. Bata bata shimi se. Goro braba seba de bi kishini se de braba samana me kete bi de bi asataba. The Father says, I'm going to begin to speak to you through the number seven. Uh, this isn't for everyone in our in our Ascension Network tonight, but it's for, for more than one. I'm going to begin to speak to you in the next 30 days about the number seven, and you're going to see patterns of seven, and the number seven cropping up everywhere, everywhere you go. And in the speaking of it, I'm going to bring a manifestation as I'm going to teach you the, the mathematics of the kingdom. I'm going to teach you the mathematics of the kingdom, for I am adding and I am multiplying and I am dividing. There are some things that need to be divided off of you, says the Lord, and I'm going to confirm it. And even threats that has been spoken against you by uh, misguided people, I'm going to quell those threats, and you're going to be so audaciously certain that it's me speaking because I'm going to speak to you in patterns of seven that are going to make others think you've totally reprobated because they'll be trying to talk to you and their religious self-importance and you're going to be saying ha 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 because I'm going to expose the lie of the enemy and cause you to ascend into that destined place of jurisdiction and authority that I have called you to. Kerabarama, it's your day, says the Father. Your blessing time has come. Asta, asta, bakishinso borobo, beta, beta, gonoborobo, simindi, chapakasa, basa. So, for those in Germany, Korobesa, Father says, I'm healing the great wound. I'm healing the great wound for those in Berlin, those in Hamburg. There's been a wound in your culture and a wound in your society. And the Father says, even as, as your economy is growing to a place of primacy in, in uh, Europe, the Lord says, first the natural, then the spiritual. I'm going to bring forth a spiritual economy from, uh, from uh, Germany that will affect uh, Europe as broadly as uh, when Martin Luther nailed his 99 theses to the Wittenberg Chapel. I'm raising up a spiritual economy, and I'm going to cause you to once again be, uh, be a credible, a credulous people in the things of my spirit. You won't get fooled again, says the Father, for I'm healing the great wound. Sita da Rabba Shebe Fuchoko Rabba Julia, rise up. Julia, rise up. Sita by in your mantle and in your anointing. The very thing that others have mocked and, uh, and ridiculed and criticized is that which I've called you to do in Germany, said among the, the uh, German speaking peoples. Sikid, I've given you a portion. I've given you a mantle, even the mantle, uh, a, a, a portion of the mantle of Luther. It's on you for change in your culture, says the Lord. <laughs> oh, we love you, Lord. We thank you. We worship you. We worship you. Let the bread truck, let the wonder bread go out, Father God. So to bring healing. Put your hand on your body where you have sickness, where you have chronic illness, you may have cancers. Put your hand. And we speak the heat and the fire of God to come on you right now and totally deliver you from sickness, from chronic illness and affliction. We break the spirit of affliction off of you in Jesus' name. Sita Baraban de 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 be si de bakasha morabaraba de de be si de rama. Sapa karabaraba and we pray for Betty in Houston, Father God, you would send Derwin uh, needed assistance to those that will speak that he'll hear. Keta barabit si ti be samana makosha namaraba sete bakarabaraba sata. Now let's begin to gather up uh, these petitions. Uh, you know, there's, there's only so much time. Uh, to respond to the text, to respond to things. For Roger in California, we release financial breakthrough to you right now in the name of Jesus. We pray for all of these needs that we cannot get to, Father God. For Kristen, 
Father God, we declare employment, not just a job, many jobs being offered to her that she might have to make a Romans 12 choice. Is this the good, the perfect, or the acceptable of God? And the Father says, take her direction, I'll bless it. We command the opening. Let's pray for Christian. We command the opening of employment. We come, Those of you that are unemployed, I want you right now to call Kristen's name. Kristen, we call you the employed. We call you the employed, not just a halfway disappointment, part-time, break-your-heart job, but a job that's a good-paying job, a job that's the more than you could ever ask or think job. The job that makes you want to bend and get on your knees and kiss the ground in the parking lot because you're so thankful for the job that God gave you. We release that to you now in the name of Jesus. We can declare that your employment is tied to the economy of the kingdom, not to the economy of man. We bring an ecosystem of God's favor over you, Christian, right now in the name of Jesus. Now, right now, if you're unemployed, reach out for the sacrament of that declaration and take it into yourself and say, yes, Lord, that's mine. Karaba said, we release it to you in Jesus' name. Suto robo dishimisama, basta, basta, basta. Kedab roba dishikenende, basta, baraba, we speak increase. We speak increase. We speak, you're going to need a bigger boat. You're going to need a bigger net. The Lord says you're not thinking big enough. They make your plans not according to the measure of man, but according to the measure of my hand, says the Father, for I am flexing my sinews in your behalf, and you're going to burst out on the right hand and upon the left, and the limitations the enemy has set for you are going to be destroyed by the bulldozer of my favor in your life. Sata kahi semi basta rabondishimi sama korabondesi kidedidibondisi. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. We praise you, Lord. God, let the ecclesia of God come to, together in a, in a substantive connection. Lord, give us that which we've cried out for. You said you would raise up a global ascension network, a, an, a, a, an ecclesia of God, a global church. God, I pray for the birthing of MediaChurch.net in a full emergence. Let the full emergence of that body be made manifest. Show us how, show us who, show us what, and show us when. Cause it to come, Father God. Let apostolic anointing come. Let this become an ascending body that would send out ones even as Paul, even as uh, Titus, even as Silas and Barnabas who went out and changed the world and changed their culture. God, raise up Antioch churches. Let MediaChurch.net become an Antioch, an electronic Antioch church that will raise up Pauls, that will raise up Silas's and Barnabas's who went out and changed the known world that defied culture and brought transformation to the known civilized world. Raise them up, God. Let this church be birthed. God, we cry out to you for that purpose to be made, made manifest. For, Lord, we don't know how and we don't know who and we don't know when, but you put it in us. The seed, the germ, God, has been conceived on the inside of us. Let that church be made manifest, Father God. Basta braba de de mi, basta be keshe braba se, bakane de braba de menti se ma, boko boko tishi. We worship you, Lord. We worship you. Praise your name. So kosopo ro baka sananda. We worship you, Father God. We praise you. It's been such an honor, an honor to gather with you. I cannot say enough. You know, in the prophetic and in ministry, many times uh, ego has gotten in the way of ministry. But I want you to know that your prayers, your participation with us, your participation with us in this vision is a sacrament of obedience in our behalf. You are so important to Kitty and I, and we, we are so honored. For us, we're here to wash your feet. We're here to speak to the Christ in you. 
who Jesus is in your life. You're, you're, a, you're a much better person than you give yourself credit for, and you're much more, you're much closer to the kingdom than you realize. And we release blessing. I speak blessing over you. Restoration to your marriage. Uh, financial restitution. Restitution in your finances. We command increase to you in the area of finances. We command the kingdom of God that's on the inside of you to break out and establish your boundaries right now in Jesus' name. We glorify the God that chose to place His glory in you. My God shall meet all of your need according to His riches and glory, and the glory is in you. I command the inventory of the glory that's on the inside of you to be made manifest in Jesus' name. And we command your jurisdiction to be defined and for you to know who you are and begin to stand up in your destiny. We speak Arabasa, breakthrough. We pour out the breaker anointing. I release the breaker anointing to you right now in Jesus' name. And I command breakthrough in your life, in your marriage, with your children, in your finances, in your ministry portion. Go out now. There's someone listening. You have a constituency. There's already a group of people that are ready to receive you as their mentor and their guide. Go out now and gather that the, the field is ripe into harvest and the sickle of God's purpose is in your hand. Go now! For the mantle of your ministry is fully activated in upon you. Father, all of these prayer requests that we could not get to tonight, God, let them come before you and be, we place them upon the, the incense, upon the coals, the burning embers of incense of the worship of the saints in the heavenlies. Lord, we offer them up. Our minds and the limitations of time do not allow us to put that kind of focus, but we take these 164 prayer requests and the, the dozens of prayer requests texted in during this time. We lay them before you upon the embers of incense in the Holy of Holies. And we ask, Father, that you would breathe in of those vapors and respond by a release of power from your hand. Cause it to be right now in the name of Jesus. And we worship you. We honor you. We thank you for joining your presence with us. We give this time to you, Father. And we bless these that have connected with us in this time. And those even after are watching the pre-recorded time. We speak it out over them in Jesus' name. Amen. Again, this is one of the two live uh, events that we do every month. We do Media Church on the second Thursday of the month, and we do the War Room usually on the third, fourth Thursday of the month, and uh, we'll be going back to Thursday formats. That we needed to change it this time. We ask for you to pray for Kitty and I. Pray for direction. The Jericho Drive is coming to a conclusion. If you can make it to Branson on October 12th, we want you to come. Look it up on our website. If you can come to Branson, we're going to do the Shout the Shout conference. Those of you that have been blessed, if you can get, get away, we, we have a hotel there. It's very affordable. Uh, the airports are very easily accessible. We want you to come and join us in Branson. And we bless you with the increase of God. God bless you. This is the conclusion of our prayer time.